Now that that's been addressed, we're going to get into my top five. Number five, it's it's the the biggest fan base out there for this player is the Locked On Sun Levels podcast. It's CJ Fight. CJ Fight blew away expectations last year. A three-star defensive tackle coming out of Texas. Not a lot of people really would have placed major expectations on him to have played the role that he did last year, but he was a borderline full-time starter, especially when Anthony Cooper went down with injury and some of the other guys along the defensive line were getting banged up. CJ fight was a constant. He was healthy. He was dominant. He was big dude that ate up blocks and was vicious at the point of attack. Very big fan of CJ fight. Not, not just because of a relationship that I have uh, built with him and some of his family, but also because of just how dynamic he is. This is, this is a, defensive tackle that can change games if he if he takes that next step again similar to Anthony Cooper do I expect him to lead the team in sacks probably not but what I do expect for him from year one to year two is to be a very consistent interior guy who's able to eat up blocks and do some shedding and at the end of the day just keep the linebackers jerseys clean allow them to knife their way into the backfield those are my expectations for CJ fight Take that next step as a true defensive tackle. He does that. You got something special here. But one of the other reasons that makes him so important for me is the proven game experience that he has. Anthony Cooper has it, but he was banged up last year. And even even still, Anthony Cooper was making a transition from edge to defensive tackle. We still haven't gotten to see if that is 100% a great move or if that was a move out of necessity i'm i'm curious how it shakes out i don't see him moving back to the edge though but with cj fight you have that solidified option there because the sun Devils were really thin along the defensive tackle spot last year in fact a lot of guys moved inside tristan monday and sam benjamin uh were sort of kind of tweeners but they were full-time defensive interior guys like The Sun Devils needed those guys last year. CJ Fight was already that guy. So they plug him in and he gives you exactly what you were hoping to get out of him. He's a beast. He's a stud. Love him. And I have high expectations for him in 2024. If he is able to take that next step, you are going to have one of the better interior linemen that we've seen in the last five, maybe even 10 years. I've said this before on the podcast. I'll say it again. The three-star recruiting out of Texas, to me, means you're a four-star in a lot of other places. He played like it last year. He played like a high-level talent, not a kid who kind of gets washed up amongst the rest of the nation. This dude stood out. He was the best freshman player for the team last year. I will die on that hill. He is, by all accounts and measures, one of the most important players heading into the 2024 season for the Sun Devils. He plays well. A lot of other people across from him, behind him, are going to be playing well as well. And we're going to talk about his partners in crime along the defensive